This episode is about the Bottomless Lakes State Park in New Mexico. Uh, they called it Bottomless Lakes because at one point they actually thought it was bottomless, you know, that can just went down, down, down. But um, they have determined it uh, goes down 90 feet. So um, it's a real popular destination point for scuba divers, and, and obviously it's all set up for uh, swimming uh, activities. Um, it's a big sinkhole, basically, and filled up by spring water, I assume. And um, they really did a beautiful job of uh, this, like an amphitheater, uh, where people can picnic here and um, all the way around you see all the sh uh, picnic tables way in the back uh, they have them along the lake too out in the sun uh, and I'll scroll around this way you can see they have a concession stand over there that would have been open in the summer okay it's uh, November 28th so that's all closed now um, but they would sell food and drinks and all that kind of stuff. And then going around this way, the same thing. You have protected uh, picnic areas. And um, anyway, this is uh, about 15 minutes east of Roswell, New Mexico. If you take Route 380 in Roswell and you head out, um, you'll see Bottomless Lakes uh, Road and the state park signs. Uh, in Roswell, everyone knows probably that uh, all the locals believe, or a lot of them, uh, that a, a UFO crashed in 1947 out in the desert north of Roswell, and a rancher picked up a lot of debris, and uh, it wasn't, uh, the military weren't looking for any crashed um, airplanes or anything. There was no search going on, and... Finally, two or three days went by, and, and the rancher started showing some of the debris he was finding. And then the, the military got uh, notified and, and got involved in the search, and then they cordoned off the area and told everyone to shut up and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, and they have like a UFO, International UFO Museum in Roswell. Um, basically, it's a big sprawled out city uh you can find any store there uh great shopping and all that kind of stuff so that's a nice feature of the park it's close to uh shopping you know walmart super center the whole nine yards you can find it there harbor freight tools is there and um all that kind of stuff um they have 32 uh sites that are electric and water sites and um Believe it or not, they have a Wi-Fi here. Uh, this is the first campground in New Mexico I've been to where there's uh, free Wi-Fi. So you don't need a password or anything. Uh, you just turn on your computer. It'll pick up the uh, bottomless lake uh, Wi-Fi signal. And I tried it yesterday. It works fine. Um, but I do get 4G service, two or three bars also with Verizon out here. Um, so it's really, I, I'm sure this is like a hopping place in the summer. Probably a lot of people from Roswell come out here to camp for the day and picnic and all that kind of stuff and swim. Uh, water looks pretty clean. You know, like I said, it's probably spring fed. Um, and this is uh, about a two hour drive.